Hi everyone, my name is Deborah and this is the edit by DH. I am in Sunny's Hole in South Korea and it's been a while since I've done a Lisa Eldred video. I know with her last release, I didn't do a video, but obviously I shared everything on Instagram. Normally I do a video for every Lisa Eldred release, but sometimes life takes over, I guess. But even so, she wasn't completely neglected because the content did go on the gram. If you guys don't know already, I am a huge Lisa Eldridge fan and I tend to purchase, no, that's a lie. I buy all of her launches. I might not buy the full collection, but I tend to buy all of her launches and I have been reviewing all of them. So if you are into Lisa Eldridge just as much as I am, all the videos will be linked down below so that you can have one big Lisa Eldridge fest and catch up on all the videos. So this time I didn't want to miss out on a video and especially because this is such a unique launch in terms of the products that she's released. Normally it's all makeup products, we've seen foundations, we've seen lipsticks, then eyeshadows and different kind of lip formulas but this time it's skincare which is very 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 interesting. With the skincare launch she has released a face mist, she has released a cleanser and a cleansing cloth. So with the mist, I knew for a long time that the mist was coming. To be honest, she has been talking about it for a long time. It's been in the works for a long time. I'll get into that in just a moment. But many of you may remember she had her original pop-up in Covent Garden in the main piazza in London. And it was around that time that she was supposed to launch the mist. But I remember there was some production problem and therefore the launch was delayed. I didn't know it would be this delayed, but as we know with Lisa Eldridge, she doesn't release anything unless she's completely happy with it. And fair enough, if I created a makeup line, one can dream, or a skincare line, I, you know, I would do the same thing. Unless I was completely happy with it, I would not release a product. If your name's on it, it's like you've put your stamp of approval on it, you just wouldn't release it, right? It's taken a while for the mist to be released, but it makes sense that it's almost like a skincare launch. So it seems coherent. It makes sense that she's launched all these, all these three products together. So today's video is slightly different. Normally I would review everything right now as I'm sitting here but I've already pre-tested the items when I was back in London and as you will see I pre-tested the cleanser on camera for you to see so I will insert those clips. Firstly what I'll do is I'll go through each product, I'll explain why it's so special, why you know Lisa Eldridge loves it, why she created it and then I will show you the demo, so to speak. The skin hydrator, the skin mist. I actually stupidly forgot to bring it with me to Korea, which I'm quite bummed about. But to be fair, my face gets very like oily during the day. So I, when I'm, especially the Korean summers here, so I don't necessarily need a hydrating mist whilst I'm on holiday. But anyway, you will see me using it in the next clips that I will insert in just a moment. Just to give you a bit of information, the mist was supposed to launch with the foundation, as I explained earlier. It was literally in the works since her first pop-up in Covent Garden when she launched her skin foundation. And it would have made a lot of sense. Now, I am a huge Lisa Eldridge fan, like I said at the beginning of the video. Her foundation, I do like her foundation, but it's definitely, I feel like, a more for a normal oily very oily skin rather than dry very dry skin and i know it really depends what base you put under it because obviously if you put more of a rich balm for those who have dry skin like myself it'll, it works absolutely fine or you can mix it with something to make it more hydrating like a primer but on its own i would say it's more suitable for normal to oily skin i know some people are very like divided about the foundation some people love it and some people don't get along with it as well However, it would have made absolute sense for her to launch the foundation with this face mist because then it would have made it a bit more hydrating for those who have drier skin types like myself. And at the time, in one of my videos, all the videos will be linked down below uh, when I reviewed the foundation. I think it was in that video that I mentioned. I just would have thought that she would have launched a tinted moisturizer 
up slash bb cream with a concealer rather than a medium to full coverage foundation more suited to normal to oily skin if that makes sense but have, now knowing what i know that it was supposed to launch with the foundation it makes sense and i think it could definitely work well as a as a pair let me give you a few facts about it before i demo it it's a skin hydrator it works well with makeup it's in a recyclable can and it's got really good skincare ingredients like it's got glycerin niacinamide filmic cell which is the same ingredient that's also in her elevated glow highlighter and her foundation which basically forms a mesh with a firming feel and it helps makeup to last it's got aloe vera juice in it which is refreshing and soothing it's got hydrolite five green which is a byproduct of sugar cane which is hydrating and helps skin to hold on to its natural moisture it acts as a catalyst for all the other ingredients in helping them to do their job better and it's got beetroot extract with eight amino acids so in one face mist there are so many good skincare ingredients also with the mist you can use after cleansing your skin just on its own as a skincare product you can use it after your foundation to help it settle and after makeup when your makeup feels a bit crunchy or textured you can just use it to finish off the look and it's a very fine and light mist so here's the insert clip for when i tried out and tested the mist good morning it is 6 30 a.m i wanted to do an all-day test of uh, lisa eldridge's new skincare products so i have just applied my makeup like i said at 6 30 excuse the puffy face and i thought i would try the mist first so I'm just going to spritz it on my face. First impressions, the mist is very light. There's no scent to it. And it's not too like wet either for a mist. I'm just going to let it settle down, but already it's just taken away. You know that sometimes that dryness you can get after applying foundation not like super dry but there is a, a bit of a texture and then this mist will hopefully just help it to all settle down and make it all seamless and more flawless it's been 15 minutes i just let it settle down i had a bite to eat for breakfast and i just added a little bit of powder once it had dried and settled down and i'm really happy with the way that it looks it hasn't just disrupted the base underneath because some mists or sprays can do that it can sort of move it or make it look more patchy but it hasn't done that and i think it's because the mist is so fine so i will check in again later on so this is the cleanser and it's called the skin enhancing treatment cleanser on its own it costs 43 pounds for 100 mils of product so it's quite a generous size however you can buy it with the cloth if you buy it as a set it's 48 pounds 43 pounds on its own or with the cleansing cloth there's two in a pack it's 48 pounds meaning you save five pounds i believe it is and the cloth which i'll get into later on it's 10 pounds for the two cloths which works out to five pounds per cloth so you're technically getting like a cloth for free by buying it as a set i hope that makes sense so the cleanser now it's quite a unique cleanser in that it's a cleanser and a facial treatment in one it's a deep cleanser when an independent trial was conducted they found that just one cleanse removed a hundred percent of makeup so normally you know it's a very big thing to double cleanse and in fact lisa eldridge states that she was the one to kind of come up with the whole double cleanse theory method in the first place like she was one of the first pioneers of double cleansing but she said actually with her cleanser you only need to cleanse once and it's clinically proven to remove a hundred percent of makeup again i'll get on to my thoughts and opinions on that afterwards obviously it's a makeup remover it's safe to use on the eyes which i love because many of you guys know that I'm a huge fan of the Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil. And one of the reasons I love it is because you can it's gentle enough to use on the eyes. But I know it's not for everyone. So maybe this would be a very good alternative for those who like to just remove all their makeup in one go. Plus, it's a face mask facial treatment as well. And by that, she said even if you leave it on for two minutes, it can make a huge difference. So instead of just rushing to clean it off, 
at least two minutes, leave it on. And apparently there's a noticeable difference in hydration, etc. So it's a multi-purpose product. So this is 100 ml, like I said, and apparently you only need a blueberry sized amount of product to remove your makeup. So we all know how small blueberries are. And by that, you get 200 blueberries. So you get 200 applications. Obviously, it really depends. It's going to de depend from person to person. Some people might need less. Some people might need more. But generally, a blueberry amount is fine. And I've tested it. And I can attest to the fact that one blueberry is absolutely fine to cover the face. No more is needed. Now, in terms of ingredients, there are so many incredible ingredients in it. So mainly saponins, which is produced by a tree and soap wort. It was used as a cleanser during the Roman era. And by the way, most of this information I've gotten from watching Lisa Eldridge's video. So I'm really just summarizing what's in her video. Seponin actually means soap in Latin. So that's the tie and the link in that. And it's basically from the Culea tree extract, which is from the bark itself. It's got glycerin in it, which is the best humectant, which basically holds natural water in the skin. It's got passion fruit seed oil, which is from a waste product in the juice industry, which heals, repairs, boosts natural hyaluronic acid in the skin and generally keeps it in good condition. It's got squalene from olives and palm free. And it's similar to the squalene found naturally in our skin. It's got oat kernel oil, which is great for sensitive skin and has ceramides for the skin barrier, which is great for repairing and inflammation. And it's an antioxidant as well. The prickly pear oil from the cactus is great for cell rejuvenation. It has vitamin E, which is hydrating for the skin. Meadow foam seed oil, which helps to plump and cushion the skin. It's got caprosilic glyceride which you get from coconut oil um, but it's been refined many times until it's just the essential fatty acids and it's not like it's very different to the cooking coconut oil if you know what I mean so it helps skin to feel really healthy hydrated and replenished there is no artificial perfume and no essential oils that can scent a product um, and the seponins are naturally scented now Lisa talks about the fact that she loves the scent of this skincare because even though it's very subtle, she loves it. And obviously a lot of people don't like fragrances in their products. Some do, some don't. It's very polarizing, I guess. Uh, I personally, I'm not the biggest fragrance fan, but I do like a clean, citrusy, cucumbery scent in my skincare products sometimes, but not when it's like overly artificial. But with this, I would have to say, you'll see in the video, I never smell anything when, when applying it. Even when I'm applying it like above, my mouth and underneath my nose i don't smell anything but when i like make an effort to actually smell the product up close if that makes sense you can smell like a scent i don't know how else to explain it other than sour <laughs> and that's probably not the best description because a sour doesn't tend to be associated with with good connotations but it's slightly sour. I don't know how else to explain it. Maybe some of you can help me down below commenting better descriptive word for um, the scent. But it's not unpleasant. But if it was more overpowering scent, like if it was a stronger scent, I'm not sure if I would be keen on it. But like I said, when I actually use it on my face, I can't smell anything, which is absolutely fine. This packaging is fully recyclable, as is the face mist. And basically, you'll see in the video, warm it up in your hands because initially it's very thick, jelly kind of texture. And then once you warm it up in your skin, the, the, it gets thinner and thinner. And then after adding water, it turns into like a milky emulsion, as, is, as with most skincare products or cleansers. So don't worry if it initially feels quite oily because it turns... Um, very light and milky once you cleanse it off. So like I mentioned earlier, put to a clinical trial in an independent lab, it re removed 100% of not just makeup, but waterproof makeup, waterproof SPF, one of the longest wearing foundations on the market. She obviously didn't say which one. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say Estee Lauder Double Wear. I detest that foundation. Sorry if there's anyone that loves it. I used to work for Estee Lauder and... I remember 
if one of the customers pumped too hard and it sort of like sprayed onto the display once it's set it was really hard to remove with normal water with just water or a normal cleanser and i have to use alcohols that you use for sanitizing hands and it was like 100 percent alcohol we'd have to use that to remove it from the counter so i absolutely hate double wear because i thought oh god imagine what it's doing on your skin and your skin probably can't breathe but i know there are others that swear by double wear and fair enough it's just my opinion but if I were to hazard a guess, I would think that it was double wear that they tested on as being the longest wearing foundation on the market. Market, But if you can think of another foundation that you think is the right answer, please put it down below because I'd love to know. Was proven to remove waterproof, long wearing makeup and mascara all in one cleanse like I mentioned earlier with no need to double cleanse. She did a trial where 77 people tested it and they used it for two weeks and she released some of the results and i just decided to give you the most in my mind interesting stats so 73 percent said it, there was an increase in hydration of the skin 93 percent said it was softer and their skin was softer and smoother 83 percent said it was more radiant 87 percent said their skin was more hydrated 81 percent said it appeared brighter 79 percent their skin was clearer 82 percent protected 82 percent natural barrier felt strengthened 69 percent said it resulted in them wearing less of their usual serum or moisturizer and 75 percent agreed that it worked well as a mask so these are the results after 77 people tested it after two weeks so those are the main kind of facts that I wanted to throw at you guys after watching Lisa Eldridge's video and I really really did summarize it in terms of what I deem to be the most relevant and important information. Obviously you can go and watch her full video, also you can go on her website and there will be more information there as well should you need it. And now I think it's a good time to cut to my video where I tried this cleanser. So earlier you saw me first thing in the morning like literally like a zombie and since then i have had to top up my powder just because my nose particularly was super shiny but the rest of my face was actually quite okay i did i did like top up a bit of powder like around my smile lines just because that's where i tend to get the most oiliest but generally i really like how my skin looks after a long day and it was stressful there's a lot going on um, so probably busier than my average day. So it's probably the best day to really test this um, face mist. And what I found was that it didn't separate. You know, sometimes you can put a face mist on and it separates. Or, or later in the day, your makeup just looks a bit patchy. But I didn't get that. So it could be coincidence, but I, I think it has something to do with obviously the skincare that I use, but also uh, the mist helped. And of course, I'm not just going to do a one-time test. I'll continue to test it and update you if my opinion on it changes at any given point. So I've just returned from work. This is my face. And normally I do keep my makeup on for a bit longer until like I'm kind of ready to go to bed. But since the sun is still out, I thought it'd be really good to kind of film in natural light and show me cleansing, which I don't normally do. So <laughs> let's, let's try this. It's going to be a bit funny but bear with please so i just quickly messily like just put my hair up for the face wash and so i'm just gonna go straight in with the skin enhancing treatment cleanser lisa eldridge in her video said to do like a sm small blueberry amount so slightly fat blueberry but anyway and she said that covers the whole face so what she did was she sort of warmed it up in her hand and it's a very thick gel texture, but after a couple of seconds, maybe 10 to 12 seconds, I believe she said it gets a bit lighter and I can feel it getting lighter. And then just going to use it all over my face. Obviously I've got makeup on. The only place I'm not going to use it is on directly on my eye, just because I've got falsies on. So I have to be careful how I remove it. Obviously this cleanser can be used as a mask treatment, facial treatment, but I'm just going to use it as a cleanser for now. And I'll do a separate little segment for, segment as a mask. 
what's nice is I can definitely agree that I don't need to go in with any more product like this is enough and there's enough slide and slip on here to just sort of cover the whole face in clinical trials it was said that this removes a hundred percent of makeup without the need to double cleanse which is great I suppose you could do this and then like leave it on your face for a couple of minutes and then just let it do its work as a mask as well and then that's like a two-in-one function but like I said right now I'm just going to cleanse so when it has contact with water it turns into sort of like a milky formula don't know if you can see that milkiness so it's the first time I'm washing my face in a room other than my bathroom and do you know what guys it's really hilarious because obviously you, do, you can't see the other side of what I'm seeing there's a window obviously my neighbors like I live in an apartment and we can see each other so they must be like what is this girl up to anyway so as you know her cleanser it can come it comes separately you can purchase it separately or with a cloth or you can buy it as a set so I bought it as a set so this is a double-sided cloth this part is the exfoliating side or you know cleansing side so I'm just going to dip it into my bucket of warm water and just soak it just going to try and squeeze out as much of the water as I can then I'm going to go in and what's really nice is that this cloth is really big really big so it like covers the whole face one thing about a cleansing video that you have to excuse me on is that just make very unpleasant expressions so so far and then i'm just going to rinse it so lisa eldridge mentioned that there isn't really a scent to her skincare it's just lightly scented naturally scented by the saponims to be honest i don't even know what saponims smell like but when i had it like when i was rubbing it on my face i couldn't smell anything to be honest with you which isn't a bad thing that's a very very good thing so i, I like that and for people who don't like fragrances if you're sensitive skin and you've got you know you ha don't like perfumes or like heavy essential oils in there then you're lucky there's nothing like that in there so i'm just going to do one more sweep and i'm using the side of the towel that hasn't had any exposure to my makeup this is such a weird experience to cleanse in my makeup room but there you go I am doing this for you guys. So I'm still getting makeup on my cloth. I mean, I'm sure you guys can agree my skin is starting to look very clean, very pale. I definitely look like Dracula right now. I think I'm gonna do one more sweep just to make sure that everything is off. I think that we're done. Now, as you can see, I've tried to remove as much of the makeup from the cloth in my bucket as possible, but it hasn't completely removed it. I'm gonna try and run it under the tap later on to see if it'll remove it completely. And I will definitely report back later on in the video. Say like if you gather water in a sink or something, it's not going to remove all the makeup if you just try and like rinse it in the existing water. I think you have to wash it and rinse it under like a powerful, uh, tap with running water so I will definitely report back my skin is now dry and it doesn't feel tight it just feels like really clean it really does so it doesn't feel tight at all I tend to get quite a lot of dryness around my mouth as it stands right now it's okay because obviously it's just freshly washed later on it'll be interesting to see what happens so I'm actually not going to apply any moisturizer for like at least an hour and just see what happens to my skin and again I will report back but it is very very clean feeling some cleansers like as soon as you apply it you feel like your skin's like and it feels very tight but this doesn't feel like that so yes I shall report back but so far so the cleansing cloth is double-sided it's soft enough for eczema and psoriasis 
it's two in one pack like i said it's 10 pounds which would work out to about five pounds per cloth but if you get the cleanser set along with the cleanser then it technically works out to five pounds for both so you're saving five pounds so instead of five pounds per cloth it'd be two pound fifty per cloth i hope that makes sense and then it's hypoallergenic and you can pop it into the washing machine so i found that after i used it after cleansing my face as you just saw the makeup didn't easily come off so i did try running it under a heavy tap like i said i would it didn't work even when i was like rubbing it together it only washed off the makeup when i added some soap to it so i just added some of my hand soap and i then started to just rub it together and wash it like they did in the good old days otherwise you can pop it into a washing machine personally this is me i would prefer just to because it is being used on my face just like wash it how i washed it with the hand soap and it my hand soap has got like i think it's dettol on it's got the antibacterial element to it so i kind of prefer it but it may you guys may just find it easy to pop it into the washing machine when you do your regular laundry so that's it in terms of the cloth there's not much more information to give other than the fact that it's huge you guys saw it and the only cloth that i would compare it to is actually the beauty pie exfoliating cloth you guys should know about it if you've watched my channel i've spoken about it many times and it's a cloth that i normally use but the difference is the beauty pie one comes with three instead of two and it's slightly smaller in size than the lisa eldridge one so the lisa eldridge one is good if you want to like cover a lot more ground i guess yeah if you wear a lot of makeup or whatever then the lisa lisa eldridge one might might be better and it's definitely softer than the beauty pie one but i'll include all the details of the beauty pie one above so that you know what i'm talking about so my final thoughts i really like the mist i love the fact that it's very light and fine mist it just evenly spreads when i spray whereas i believe it was the violette fr boom boom milk mist that I said it felt like I was being slapped by a baby bird's wings because it was just like spitting out the <laughs> spray. Whereas this is just like a real gentle, fine mist over the face, which is a really nice experience. I like the fact that it didn't separate my makeup. Sometimes some mist can separate the makeup, like I explained, but this one didn't at all. And it did help to hydrate, but my face wasn't like super oily after using it. Like some face mists are very very glowy and very oily which is great if you want that dewy look but not great if you already have a lot of oil in your skin so the mists that come to mind are the Omravitska face mist not the queen of hungary one there's another one that i use i'll pop the name up above i can't remember it off the top of my head and also the toucha dewy face mist i think that's what it's called the famous one which is fantastic for creating a juicy dewy finish on your face but not great if you don't want that dewy slash oily look but this at least eldridge one gives enough hydration and a subtle lip from within type of glow rather than a glowy dewy finish if that makes sense so i really really like the mist as for the cleanser so i think it's a great cleanser i think it removes makeup super well i i feel like with the independent lab trial that they tested that they did and it said it removed 100 percent of makeup in one cleanse i feel like it's true because when i used it my skin felt squeaky clean it didn't feel tight at all it didn't feel tight at all which is always a good thing initially i did feel like i needed something like a serum or a moisturizer but after a while my skin sort of settled and it was okay even so i wouldn't ever feel like oh i don't need any skincare afterwards i do feel like my skin is dry enough to still require an extra step like a moisturizer or a serum in order to feel really plumped and cushioned on its own i wouldn't say it was enough but that's because i've got dry to very dry skin if you've got normal to oily to very oily skin i think it will be absolutely fine but obviously you you'll be the judge of that and i would love to know if you've got that skin type and you've tried lisa's cleanser what you think of it down below also i didn't show it on camera i did use it as a treatment mask and i left it on for way longer than the two minutes i think i left it on for a good 20 minutes because you know often with masks you do tend to leave it for at least 20 minutes if not more some you leave overnight but i think i left it at least for 20 if not 30 minutes and i don't feel like my skin felt plumped after using it like 
it just felt like I had cleansed it. It was the same feeling as if I just cleansed it. I don't feel like it felt particularly extra hydrated or extra plumped from leaving it on for that long. Maybe if you looked at my skin under a microscope, it, there was an impact or indifference, but from how it felt, again, I still felt like I needed a serum and a moisturizer afterwards. That's just my experience of it, but I would love to know if you had a different experience of it. And I'll be really interested to know where Lisa Eldridge goes with this, whether she's going to start completely completing this skincare line, extending it with an eye cream, with a moisturizer, with the serum, or whether like she's just going to stop here. I would love Lisa Eldridge to release a concealer. I've been saying this from day dot. I would love to see and use a concealer, a tinted moisturizer. I would love all those things. So who knows? I know that this is just the beginning and she's got enough fans and enough of a follower base and community to, you know, do well. Um, and obviously there is quality in her products as always. She's a working makeup artist. She has pride in her products as we know before she releases them. So I'm really intrigued to find out where this is going to go, you know, how, how far she's going to go with her makeup and skincare line. I would love to know down below what your thoughts are on her new release and what products you'd like to see in the future from her. And what your thoughts are if you've used these products and you've purchased it yourself, what do you think of these products? I hope you enjoyed that video. Love to hear your thoughts down below, like I said. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and give this video a like and I will see you on my next video. Take care of yourselves.